Hi guys, I am back. And so today I'm just going to talk about some great things that have been helping me personally and professionally to thrive. Oh my gosh. So you know, the first thing I start out with is Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all that getting, get an understanding. Yes. And so what I've been doing basically is keeping scriptures in my purse. So when people, coworkers want to act up, when people in the grocery stores want to act up, cutting in front of me in line, bumping me with their carts and everything because I'm in their way or walking past me and saying trash. And maybe this person was just saying, okay, well, I got to go get, you know, trash bags or whatever. But anyways, oh baby, I have these scripts right here in my purse. Bam. Bam, bam. Mm -hmm. Okay, self-control. God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. Amen, somebody? We're not going to go off in these grocery stores. No, we're not doing it. We're going to act like men and women of God. And mainly to myself, seal the deal. You're a woman of God. Move forward. Get these scriptures and move on. Rather, he must be hospitable, one who loves what is good, who is self-controlled, upright, holy, and disciplined. Amen. It takes much more strength to just move on with your day versus just popping off, slapping somebody, or getting in a fight over toilet paper like people were during the pandemic. Amen. Oh, we hit them with that piece, or I hit myself with that piece scripture. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world do I give to you. Amen? My peace isn't going to come from how the grocery store manager treats me. My peace is not going to come from how the Verizon wireless person at the cell, cell phone store is going to treat me or does treat me. My peace comes from the Lord. Here's another one, self-control. For the spirit of God gave us, doesn't make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-control. I mean, it's a, it's a constant theme throughout the Bible. Look up all the scriptures. Go to google.com. Type in Google. How, no, where in the Bible are scriptures on self-control? Then you get those scriptures, you know, and you can keep them on paper like I have them or an index card. I would recommend an index card because it doesn't get too all crinkly up. But honey, I had to just throw it on this paper real quick and ask my husband to go on and get me some index cards. So I needed it, you know, really, really soon. And so here's another one. Philippians 4 and 13. I love this one. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Come on, come on. I don't have to yell at somebody who is riding on my bumper in my car. I don't have to yell at somebody because they snatched the, the grocery cart that I was going to get that I wiped off with um, Clorox. You got it. You got it, boo. Because like my mama said, honey, these people crazy. So... I have that one um, as well. And then also keep in this little pocket area. So you have to have it in somewhere, a place where it's quick. You don't need to be going through your main purse trying to find a scripture when people start acting crazy. All right. And so here's two more on peace. He will keep you in perfect peace who minds are steadfast or stayed on him, stayed on God. Because they trust in you. Amen. I trust in God. Not in these people in the world. Not how my boss treats me. Not how my coworker treats me. I get my self-esteem from the Lord. And these scriptures remind me of that every day. And so that's what I would encourage you guys to do. Try to read these scriptures every day, every night. You know, set a timer to really get this thing rooted in your brain for transformation through Christ. Amen, somebody. Moving to work, success. You can go into Google, type into Google. Give me all the scriptures on success in the Bible. And then they come up, you know, about 50 scriptures, you know, that you can write down on your index card. 
or your paper. Commit to the Lord whatever you do and he will. Amen, somebody. God will. Amen, somebody. Establish your plans. No matter what your boss is doing, no matter what your coworkers are doing, God is the one that establishes your plans. Amen. You pray about it and God may just do an instant transformation with your boss or with your coworkers because you've set your timer throughout the day to pray for that person. And even if God doesn't do it, you know, even if God doesn't change that person, they will be more inclined to deal with you in a better manner because you're keeping your cool. Hey, I can roll with it. I can do whatever. If you want to stand up and stare at me like they love to do in the federal government, that's your business. It's not mine. That's a you problem, not a me problem. Amen. And so the next one is about peace as well. In peace, I will lie down and sleep. Because it's far too many people losing sleep over these crazy people in these offices, on these federal jobs. No, we're not losing our sleep. We're going to Google.com and looking up what? Oh, give me all the scriptures, Google.com, on sleep. And we read them during our lunch break. Amen? We read them before we leave our house in the morning. Amen? We read them before we lay down in our beds to go to sleep, to just have a great day. You've got to already have your mind set on God's word before you leave your house because all people would try you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Neighbors, you know, people um, driving to work with you, people on the road. We don't have to throw Gatorade bottles at uh, people on the road because they cut us off. I've seen that. You know, we don't have to give the middle finger to people on the road because they are driving too slow. I've seen that. No, we've already got in our mind that, hey, their lives are going to be changed because I'm a godly person. I speak and say, hello, how are you today? Hello, how are you today? I mean, that's a forgotten art. So moving on, in peace, I will lie down and sleep for you alone Lord, make me dwell in safety. Not my paycheck from the federal government. Nope. That doesn't give me safety. Now, it helps. Don't, don't get me wrong. <laughs> we do have bills and I love my job. But either way, whether I'm up or down, you know, with the federal job or without a federal job, I still have my godly self-esteem intact, my godly consequence, excuse me, confidence intact. I get my worth from Christ. I get my worth from Christ. Let me just say that one more time. Not on whether or not my boss is going to promote me. Not running behind my coworkers or running behind my boss. Look at me. Look at me. So the next one is on success as well. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord whose confidence is him, is in him. Amen, somebody. We're blessed already because our confidence is within God. It's with God. It's with God. And then I wrote like some little shorthand versions of some verses that I did like because I ran out of room. Clearly, you see, guys, I mean, I'm so thankful to my husband for getting those uh, index cards for me because, baby, we need a little bit more. <laughs> we need to add a few more things, a um, few more scriptures um, and those promises from God that has helped me at work, at home, when I was, you know, going at school, when I was, you know, studying to get my bachelor's degree. So the shorthand verses I picked up was be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And so these scriptures are going to renew your mind. You are going to act differently with your property manager at your apartment complex. Amen, somebody. You're going to act differently with your coworkers. You're going to act differently at that grocery store that you go to all the time. Amen. Here's another shorthand uh, note that I took from a verse. Do this so that you may prosper in all you do and wherever you go. Amen, somebody. And that's the thing. When I'm writing steps down uh, at my job, you know, 
on how to do something, the purchase card reconciliation, the first step I have for my personal notes or desk reference um, is pray. Come on, pray. A four-letter word that'll change your life. P-R-A-Y. Not jumping right in to going into this system, not jumping right in, you know, to look at all the, you know, calculations or whatever you're trying to do. If it's, you know, a contract that you're managing like I am, the steps to do it. The first one is pray. And it's powerful. It'll change you. It'll allow God to lift you up and carry you through that purchase card reconciliation or whatever that task is when you're tired. You can pray that God gives you supernatural energy and he will so you can get the task done and not only get it, get it done, but get it accurate and correct when you send it to your boss. Amen, somebody. So you can get that performance award like I have in the past in the first three months of being on the job. Amen. And it's not about money. You know, God is the one that touches my brain to do the things that I need to do. No matter if you have a concussion, no matter if you're bipolar, no matter if whatever the doctor has you know, said over your life, you still can function. You still can be that man or woman or of God that operates in ex- excellence. Amen. You can still be a person who operates in excellence no matter what your diagnosis is. Amen. And so the next one I have is, this is a little note from another scripture, for it is he, God, who gives you the ability to produce wealth. Oh, man. You know, and it's not about, when I see that scripture, it's not about multi-millions of dollars. It's not about being a billionaire like Oprah. Don't get me wrong. (laughs) Money does help. And um, yeah, but it gives you the ability to be rich according to what your standards are. Amen. You know, and so if you need that housekeeper to help you clean up, hey, God will give you a way to, you know, work on your job so well that you're getting that bonus, you know, that you need. Or if you need a um, assistant, you know, God will give you the things that you need to do and the ideas to bring in more money to do that. And so I just love these scriptures and you guys, let me just put them back in my purse. So when I go out, before I go out, honey, I'm taking the word of God with me. And so those are the scriptures I've been leaning on for a personal growth and professional growth. And so the other tip I would like to give you is setting your timer um, throughout the day on your cell phone to pray for those difficult coworkers. You know, to pray for your husband or wife, you know, to thank God for the husband that he has given you. Amen to my ladies out there and to just thank God for that wife that God has given you. Oh, my gosh. You know, I remember saying in these small groups that I used to participate in that y'all pray for me a husband. Pray for me. Pray for me to find a husband or and it's really not find. It's you know, for God to bring me a husband. And he did. And he did. And so those same people that, you know, prayed for me, you know, we would do the prayer before we get off the call. You know, I was able to email them my wedding pictures um, when I got married um, on March, in, in March of 2023. God is so faithful, you guys. God is so faithful. Whether you're believing God for a child, whether you're believing him for that partner, that romantic partner, Stay encouraged, stay in prayer and get into the word of God and and small, find a small group or a church to attend, to strengthen your faith. Oh my gosh. I have another story on that as well concerning churches. And so another way that I like to relax and just be my best before I leave my house is just listening to some classical music. Classical music is shown scientifically to reduce stress. So that would be one good thing as well. You know, trying that before you go into work, you know, also doing breath work. And what I mean by that is a breathing exercise on YouTube, you know, before you go into work, if you're feeling anxious or worried about how a coworker is going to be or how crazy your boss is going to be. These are tangible things that you can do to help you 
remain in godly excellence everywhere you go. Amen, somebody. Then another thing would be um, getting books from the library. It's free. It's free knowledge for you to. I, I remember telling the girl, she was like, okay, seal the deal. I need help. You know, when I go into uh, my boss's office, she just goes off on me. I just need somebody to come in there with me. And I'm like, uh-uh, boo, I can't come into the office when you and your boss is having a meeting because that's not my boss and they're not paying me for that. But what I did do is give her some free advice. Joyce Meyer, the approval fix. You see what I'm saying? You don't get your self-esteem and confidence or, you know, how you feel from your boss. You get it from God. Amen, somebody. And God has given these people Joyce Meyer, in this case, you know, ideas on how to help you. Working with you is killing me. Now, these books, you know, I'm just giving examples. I'm just giving examples. You know, I love my job. Amen, somebody. But for this girl, I'm going to actually, you know, let her know of these books. Working with you is killing me. They got strategies in here, even on Google.com. How can I deal with difficult co-workers that's what I told her so for this video these are just examples of what you can find at the library if you're having trouble with your co-workers and with your managers backstabbers and bullies how to cope with the dark side of people at work honey you got to get in that library and go to work baby huh crazy bosses now again I love my job <laughs> And so these are the books, you know, just for this video, examples of what you can find at your local library. You don't have to go out and pay a, a job coach $250 an hour on, you know, what I need to do with my crazy boss or what I need to do with my crazy coworker. You got free knowledge. These people have studied this stuff, PhDs. They can give you the keys to the kingdom, you know, and first and foremost, the word of God as well. You know, looking up scriptures on promotion, on success, everything is in the word of God. But if you need supplemental information, the library or Google.com is always there for you. And along with my videos. So next, what we're going to do is progressive muscle relaxation just to help you thrive and revive yourself during that lunch break um, or before you even go into work. So I've done this before on my YouTube channel, but we're gonna do it again today. Take off your shoes. So right hand, make a fist with your right hand. Hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Bring your arm up, your forearm, arm. One, two, three, four, five. Shake that out. Take some breaths. Do another fist with your other hand. One, two, three, four, five. Shake that out, do a little bit of breathing. And now bring your hand up like a fist. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe out, shake that out. Now do your forehead, raise your eyebrows as high as they can go. One, two, three, four, five. Now eyes and cheek. Squeeze your eyes shut tight. One, two, three, four, five. Mouth and jaw. Open your mouth as wide as you can as you're about to yawn. Ha, 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 ha. Huh. Neck. Be careful as you tense these muscles. Face forward and then pull your head back slowly. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to do a little bit more here. Don't 
viewers, don't just do this at home. Talk to your doctor before you do this move. <laughs> and then I also like to bring it down, my chin down to my chest. So we're just going to stay here for a little bit. Viewers, don't do what I'm doing. Talk to your doctor about doing this motion. So just wanted to exhale a little bit there. Shoulders, tense the muscles in your shoulders. Bring your shoulders up towards your ears. One, two, three, four, five. You really got to get them up there. Go, 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 go. <laughs> and then shoulder blades and back. Push your shoulder blades back by trying to touch them together. So your chest is pushed forward. One, two, three, four, five. Lean to the side a little bit. Lean to this side. Ah, chest and stomach. Breathe in deeply. Just breathe out. And so two more bonus things to help you thrive at home and at work is to you know, go walking before you get on your job, you know, early in the morning or walk uh, later in the evening. And then also another good thing would be meditating, you know, maybe recording yourself saying these scriptures, you know, in a voice memo for those iPhone users out there or for the old school. They still do sell cassette tapes. Um, you can get recorded on your cassette tape or recorded uh, on some other way. Um, that you can access. So I hope this has helped you guys. I love you guys so much. I could not go another day without speaking to you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Love you guys.